Hey, I hope you're doing well today. So the lesson for this session is the rule of design. Okay, so most people have a misconception of what design actually means or is. Okay, and like uh, when I usually talk to someone and they're creating a T-shirt there or, you know, a little thing for a T-shirt or like a drawing, you know, I ask them, well, what is that? That's cool. What is it? He's like, I don't know, it's just a drawing, you know, well, what does it do? Oh, I don't know, I have no idea, right? And so they think that when you, when you could like create something is designed. Well, it is, but it's not, right? So to create without a purpose or an intention is not design, okay? To design is really not just to create something, it's to create something with a specific purpose in mind, all right? with a, an intention, okay? So the whole, the essence of design, all right? I'm gonna write it down, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna write this down, okay? The essence of design is to create in order, in order to solve a problem, all right? So design is to create, right? And to create is to design, but it's to create with intention, right? It's intentional, okay? So design is more than just making something, and that's really the whole point of it. Um, you know, just by making something doesn't make you a designer, right? It's is to create something in order to solve a problem, right? To design is to give a solution. And, you know, design is more about problem solving than it is about making something look nice, okay? Just for example, right? Post-it notes, right? Now, if you look at the post-its, you would say, well, how is this design? It's just a square sheet of paper, right? But it's it was created with an intention. It's a simple thing, right? Design does not have to be complicated. It could be very simple. So keep that in mind, right? Design is made to be effective, okay? Good design is effective, all right? And now uh, there's four keys, all right, in design that you need to understand and know, okay? So the first one is ideation. Second one is preparation. Third one is systemization. And the fourth one is production. Okay, so these are the four T's of design. Okay, when you're using design, any design, right? They go through these stages here. Okay, first one is ideation, right? It's um, formulating the idea. Okay, so in order to do that, there must be a problem, right? It's an idea to a concept. It needs to be a problem to solve, first of all, right? Because the idea is you coming out with a way to solve a problem, okay? Then preparation is, is the planning, okay? So the ideation is the seed, all right? It's the seed, it's the first part of it, right? Now, Preparation is the planning, okay? Now you're kind of planning on how to plant that seed, all right? It's the strategy and uh, the strategy of creating the plan of action, okay, for this idea. Now how are you going to take this idea and make it a reality, okay? Now systemization, the key is cr you're creating the framework, right? You're creating the structure of whatever the, the shape of the design is going to take, right? And the final stage is the, pr the production or the formation, right? So this is when the idea, the seed, takes form, okay? That's the final stage, is building the physical format of the design, all right? Now, to talk about design, trust me that I can talk hours and hours about this thing, but the key point of this takeaway, the key takeaway is that design, the rule of design is this, design is not simply just creating something, right? 
design is to create something in order to solve a problem. I hope that helps, right? I'm actually going to be creating a, a more in-depth uh, lesson um, on this uh, principle of design. And uh, once it's out, I'll definitely let you know. And I'll talk to you again soon.